All right, what's going on, guys, gals on YouTube? Who am I? Muscles and Macros, a.k.a. Josh. I'm a faster way to fat loss coach. Uh, I became a coach because I wanted the ability to serve people uh, in some form or fashion. Uh, that's my desired outcome in life. Uh, I feel like that's my, my calling. I'm transitioning out of a long-term career, um, and I fell into a, a sadness or a depression because I thought that I lost the ability to serve people. So here I am with the fast way to fat loss, ready to serve all of you. I know it's been quite a bit of time since I've done some content, especially on YouTube. It's kind of neglected. So here I am updating everybody about what's going on and showing you that I'm still alive. So I'm, I'm still learning how to do all this YouTube stuff. It's a lot more than most people think or what I thought, at least anyway. Um, Editing's editing is difficult. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So I, I don't know whether it's the software that I'm using or or what. I just you know I I hate to do this, but like I compare myself to some of these other individuals that have been doing it a long time, and I want my content to look like like that, um, so that all of you have one something interesting to watch, and two it'll retain all of you, and then three maybe it'll serve some type of value or purpose to you. And you can either reach out to me and we can create uh, a relationship or, you know, what have you. So I got, I, I'll share this. I got this in the mail yesterday, I believe. Uh, for those of you that know or you've been watching, I wanted some threads that nobody really has. It's kind of like slim right now, like, because they're just getting started. So, uh, I wanted some new threads, new thread company to, to support and and uh, share and support. Uh, and I didn't want to be labeled or targeted, you know, with my current career. I'm sure it still does that. Like, there's still a stigma, but whatever. I mean, I mean it's cool merch, cool threads, good people. So I got this in the mail yesterday. It says discipline over motivation. Here's the back. It's from the dude that lifts. Uh, pretty, pretty stellar company. Really good quality uh, merch. Uh, I've used and abused my shirts without even trying to, uh, but it, it stands up. So kudos to them. Really good stuff. Uh, back to the discipline of motivation. For some of you that have not dug deep down the rabbit hole or found yourself sitting in front of a very intelligent person that counsels you. The way the brain works is, is like this. What, I'll say this before I start. One, if you're looking for something to slap you in the face and say, hey, here's your sign, it's not going to happen at all. So you have to put yourself out of your comfort zone and take the leap of faith to do the things that you want or that you aspire to do rather than sitting around moping, waiting for motivation to slap you in the face and say, hey, get up and do this. It's not going to happen. Um, so get out of get out of the the normal society, the, the average society mindset. And and that I say that, what does that mean? Uh, for some of you, you've probably seen this video floating around. But it's a lady talking about the education system that we have in America. And I firmly believe in what she says. And some of you really need to be intentional and be relentless about the things that you put in your body or your mind. Now she says that the education system is, is designed for a specific reason, which I believe in. And that reason is so you'll, so you'll be compliant. Uh, you're not going to fight back and you're not going to be creative enough. You're going to be mindless, right? You, they want good workers. They want a one, one answer a society. And when that's that's not the case, like there's multiple answers to to the things that you do in life. There's more than one way to skin a cat, for a lack of better terms. You really need to embrace the creativity in within yourself and establish the things that you want to do in life, rather than waiting for it to slap you in the face because that's not going to happen. Um, you don't have creativity, maybe. 
okay, I got it because it's been a long time, but here's what you need to do. Uh, sit outside for a little bit and enjoy life. Enjoy the things around you and just kind of think about what you're grateful for in life. And I promise creativity will come soon enough to the point where you're like, hey, I want to do this in life or, hey, uh, you know, this looks pretty interesting or this looks pretty cool. So I think I'm going to do this. Uh, food for thought. You don't have to. Just saying that you should be intentional about the things that you put in your mind and your body. You, the mind is you have to train your mind into decipher, depicting, deciphering what is the truth and what is fake. Because if you don't, if you're constantly saying, oh, I'm, I'm depressed or I need motivation, I'm sad, blah, 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 blah your mind can't decipher whether that's reality or, you know, fake, if it's just a, a feel of temporary feeling. So it's going to turn it into a reality. And that's just going to be the way you live for the rest of your life until you break that habit. So I challenge some of you to jump out of your comfort zone, go outside the box, be creative about the things that you want to do in life, uh, collaborate, network with other people. That's super important in life. It's not, unfortunately, it's not always about what you know, it's who you know. Um, and then, you know, collaboration is key anyway, because it's kind of hard to do things by yourself consistently. You, you need somebody to hold you accountable at times, and that's okay. Um, but just, I can't, I can't say it enough, go outside the norm. Uh, break those, those nasty habits that are burnt into our freaking minds uh, through the education system. Enjoy life, be intentional, and be relentless. I mean, that's all I can say. Um, so I get I won't make this video long, but what's new with me? I'm still doing like all this YouTube stuff, trying to figure it out, trying to pump out some some cool content. I'm almost almost to 100 subscribers which is pretty neat. It's not a lot, but it's, it's a start. And I'm, I'm pretty grateful for that. Um, you know, everybody starts somewhere and I'm, I'm slowly gaining the momentum and I think it's super dope, right? It's super cool. Never thought I would be this type of person, uh, but because I went out of my comfort zone on a challenge, uh, I find this pretty interesting, uh, pretty dope. Uh, yeah, it's just, I'm living life. It's cool. So uh, I think at 100, subs uh, 100 subscribers, 100 subs, I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, I don't know what the giveaway is going to be. Probably nothing like super extravagant, but something just to say, hey, here's my here's my gratitude uh, to one lucky winner, obviously, as I don't have a whole lot of uh, income, you know, right now. I'm just starting out. So, uh, but I aspire to be one of those individuals that make uh, a stream of income source off of YouTube. Um, I make some some money off of Facebook right now with my reels, which is pretty. I mean, that's pretty ecstatic. Like I'm, it's super dope. So uh, I never thought I would be that that person. So anything is possible. My mom used to tell me that you can do anything that you set your mind to. I don't know where she heard that from, but I mean, it's the absolute truth. If you train your mindset into the what the the, the way you want to be or the things that you want to do, you are absolutely unstoppable. And it it's just, if you heard the saying, I mean, start doing your due diligence, start doing your research, stay true to that saying, and you can be anything that you want to be in life. It, I mean, with hard work, dedication, a discipline, you can do it. So if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, but I think I'll, oh, I, I will say this. I saw so I signed up for like a live stream uh, website type deal, you know, so I could do lives like this uh, without like paying 30 to $80 a month because I'm not at that point yet. Uh, I can only stream on two, two platforms. So one of them is YouTube, the other one's Facebook. Um, so somehow I'll like for my LinkedIn, my TikTok and my Instagram, I'll have to like take clips of these videos and either traffic you to the YouTube channel or uh, Facebook, obviously, because I, like I said, I'm not at that point yet where I can just, I don't want to say blow, but like invest in um, 
you know, $80 a month to, to do that. My money is pretty tied up right now with some of the other things that I'm doing. Um, so this is what it is, but, uh, I guess I'll end it here. Uh, huge thanks to all the supporters, subscribers, followers, watchers, peekers, haters, whatever. doesn't matter. Uh, it all provides me a purpose in life. So, uh, y'all have a beautiful day. Express your gratitude. Let me know in the comments which gratitude is, or if you want me to try any businesses or companies out, um, and give it a review. So always remember, enjoy life, be intentional, and be relentless.